Hey everyone, welcome to the first video in our new series on nutrition. Today we have an awesome recipe for you which is great for holidays and hosting called apple stuffing. Here we see all the ingredients we need. We use gluten-free bread because we usually have some gluten-free family or friends that join us, but you can use any bread that you want to. Start melting the butter and then add pre-cut apples, almonds, celery, and onions, and get that all stirred up and coated with butter. It'll start to soften after three or four minutes. While the apple mixture is softening, cube up the bread. I use a whole bag of bread just because we usually double the recipe. And then just split that into two bowls. This is a double recipe, so there is a lot to, to take care of here. Add the raisins and then head on over to this mixture again. Turn the element off and add cinnamon, salt, and poultry seasoning to this mixture and mix it up really, really well. Stir that up really, really well and then add it to the bread mixture. And then strangely enough, the next step is to add apple juice. It does call for half a cup of apple juice, but I usually put a little bit more in there because gluten-free bread is drier than most bread. Then you throw one egg into it and mix that up really, really well. And just see how the density of it is. If it needs a little bit more apple juice, put some apple juice in it. Pour that into a casserole dish and spread that out. Cover it with tin foil and bake for 30 to 40 minutes. At that time, pull the tin foil off and make sure you don't leave any of that stuff stuck to it. You don't want to miss out on anything. Stir it back up and put it back in uncovered for 10 minutes and you've got yourself some amazing gluten-free apple stuffing.